Welcome, this is easy3dbiz.com. Currently I've got eight Peltiers right here. I'm hooking them up and we're going to work on amplifying the device using a voltage boost meter right here. And you guys can see that right there, but this little fella here is going to boost up the voltage. Uh, quite simply, I bought this one on Amazon.com. It was fulfilled by Amazon. It comes out of uh, 3837 Bay Lake Trail, Las Vegas, Nevada. I have the specification sheet right here. Uh, basically, this is a specs on it. You take 3 volts, put it in, it's going to boost it up to as much as 35 volts. You can even put up to uh, 34 volts in, it will boost up to 35 volts. And uh, this is basically a quick rundown on the specs right here. Quite simply, the red wire is on the very top right here and the black wire is on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do a review right here. Quite simply, what I put together here is I have a voltmeter. I have a extra higher voltage voltmeter here. This voltmeter goes up to 10 volts. I've hooked up two 1.5 volts, and these are your AA batteries that you normally find in the store. I've hooked uh, one up here, one up here to give me a total of three volts, and these guys have put up to the voltmeter, which is going to hopefully give us about 20 volts or more output. So let's go ahead and hook her up and see what we get. Go ahead and uh, adjust the lighting here, so for your convenience we can get some uh, decent uh, effects right here and see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, press these two together and see what we get. Okay, right now let me press them hard enough here so they stay. That 3 volts has turned into 23 volts. And if we look at the voltmeter right here, it's off the chart. As you can see, the red wire here is way past the 10. Usually the red wire would be at 3 volts, which would be about here. But with the extra boost right here, we take a look at the extra amps right here. As you can see, I've got around 5.0. I'm going to go ahead and get a light right here so you guys can see that. Anyway, the voltmeter on uh, DCV50 right here, as you guys can see it right here. But basically, that's a um, higher, uh, out, you know, it can take more volts without blowing up. That's basically what it is. So, anyway, let's go and explore this a little bit further. Because there's no instructions that came with this, I'm basically going to give you guys the instruction rundown right here. Little uh, button right here, and you guys can see my finger. But there's a little black button right here when you press it. It's going to give me the voltage that's coming out of the uh, two batteries. Right now, the two 1.5 volt batteries are giving me 2.9 volts. When I press the button again, it's going to give me the voltage amplification. So that three volts is basically being amplified about 17 volts. And it's going back and forth because I'm not really pressing these batteries too hard. But basically, that's pretty cool. That's uh, about 17, 16 volts uh, difference. Now, there's also another little screw here, because it's very hard to see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give a quick rundown here, but there's a little uh, thing right here, a smaller screw, that you can use to, amp to adjust the volts. It doesn't give much of a difference, but let me go ahead and uh, hook it up right here, basically stabilize everything here so I can do this. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to adjust a little screw right here and it's going to give me a uh, reading of a slight voltage difference. Okay, right now I'm turning it uh, counterclockwise. Now I'm going to press the button here to reset it. The little button here is going to reset the voltage. Right now it's just 2.9 uh, input. After I adjusted the screw, we're at 22.3, 22.4 output. Now let's see what happens when we turn the screw clockwise.
Okay, right now I've turned it about seven revolutions clockwise. Eight revolutions, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, right now I've turned it about 13 revolutions clockwise. I'll go ahead and press the button on here, reset it. So after turning it at uh, about 13 revolutions clockwise, it's about 22.1, 22.3 volts. I haven't messed with it too much, but I believe turning this little screw here on the blue uh, plastic cylinder here may be a way to adjust the voltage. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off right now, and let's figure out how we put the wires in. Now, quite simply, it's very important that you know the polarity, because there's no reverse polarity protection right here, so I've actually put a little positive right here to the output, and a negative here. Your input's always going to be coming in this side, so you want to put the voltage coming in here, and out, it's going to be amplified out here. So, you need a medium-sized small screwdriver. And if you take a close look here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's two tiny little screws right here. So you put the screwdriver in here, and you turn it counterclockwise, and voila, the wire will pop out. Let's go ahead and do the other wire. Go ahead and turn it counterclockwise, and voila, the other wire pops out. So because no instructions came with this, basically I hope you guys don't have to figure it out like I did. I hope it save you guys some time. Um, it's a pretty handy little device. I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm going to uh, go ahead and run some amperage tests on it to make sure that the amperage is also being boosted, which I believe is uh, being increased also a little bit. Because amperage is what we want if we want to really get this thing moving. I'm going to set a goal here of about 40 volts output with hopefully some serious amperage to turn a bike motor or an electric motor that can power a scooter or bicycle. And basically this is measuring about two foot uh, width by about one and a half to two foot in height. So if you're considering that small little space is going to put out enough power to turn a bike, it should fit quite well on a bike rack, front rear bike rack. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is easy3dbiz.com, uh, giving you an update on the current status of the device. And wish you all a wonderful day ahead. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.